Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is Heen, and today we're back with another Gotcha Car Spotlight. And the car for today is Assassin, or ass in because they do put a dash in the name for some strange reason. The reason why they put the dash in it, I'm, I'm not really sure why they did this. Honest, it's because there's a dash in the car's actual name. Uh, this car is Toyota FT-1. Uh, no, not to be mistaken with the Toyota GT-1 racing car. Don't be mistaken with that one, because this car is actually a potential concept for the Supra. The new Supra. I think this car is a bit too, uh, a bit too snazzy. Maybe a futuristic Supra, that's for sure. I do like those two fans where the radiator is. That's, that's kind of cool. Some kind of air intake, maybe. Let's stop thinking about that. Let's jump right into drift shop. Take a look what this car has to offer. And as you can see, I am too cheap to buy, buy an ST again because I am bad. But nonetheless, we shall look at this car. And the first thing we're going to look at are the uh, the decals. And the first decal is uh, interesting. Uh, adds a bunch of stripes to the car. I feel like that already exists. Like that. Yeah, almost. It looks a little bit different, but uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that's interesting. And then we have this one here too, which uh, which adds more stripes. Uh, these ones have to be orange and black, so you can be a tiger. So you could put some uh, undercoat on it and uh, be a little bit like a yeah, It'd be a tiger. Ah, you're a tiger. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened, everyone. Anyway, let's keep looking at the arrow kit on this car. This car's a really, really cool arrow kit, because Supers always have cool arrow kits, and, uh, oh, whoa. This one doesn't have an arrow kit. Okay. Um, that is a bit strange. Um, I do see in some of the pictures of this car, there, there's a convertible version. I was expecting to see the convertible be an arrow kit option for this car. Oh, well. That's okay. I guess this car does look cool without its arrow kit. And I do believe this car does not have any snazzy wheels. Real wheels do kind of look like the F-Wings wheels. A bit. Just a, just a tad. Like maybe liners. Anyway. This car does look quite cool in real life. I will give it that for sure. And let's head right into the dealership to take a look at this car's stats. Oh, and another thing for this car, and I'm going to check this uh, before the video too, just to take a quick look. Uh, this car's wing is a wing indeed. And another thing that is cool is if the car has the wing, uh, has like a default wing, you could also get a booster wing that looks identical to the wing that's already on the car. So you don't have to have the annoying, uh, little annoying boost animation. And actually on some weaker computers, having that extra boost animation will kind of drop your frames a bit. Uh, yeah, live and learn. From my previous computer for sure and let's take a look at the stats on this car so the first thing we see is 282 speed 296 acceleration 237 boost and seven durability at v9 that means that there is an increase of less than one on every single level. Actually, look, it compares the stats on this car to my current car. It has three more durability than the normal version of the car at V1. Oops, sorry. Didn't want to go into gotcha. I want to take a look at this one here. Look at that. One, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. That is insane. I can't believe they made the durability on this car so low. Which means that this car is the master at Hove. No, but in reality, this car is a very, very good racing car. Uh, the stats maybe not as uh, amazing as our uh, our good friend uh, Hiken or Mon, but the stats are quite uh, commendable nonetheless. It does have a lot more boost too, which is quite neat, and that will go along with its ability. I do believe that's its ability. <laughs> we'll have to ask our good friend Google Translate in a bit to see whether that's the case. As for Hub, uh, I believe this is quite possibly the worst Hub car ever. Uh, this car has the lowest durability in the game. A V1 Assassin ST having the lowest durability of all time at 1. I don't think there was a V1 car when the old system was implemented, which made the car's stats at V1 like very, very, very low, like 3, 2, and other numbers like that. Single digit numbers. Uh, I don't think there's a car that had 1 durability, and this car actually has it with the updated stat system. So that is in, in, that is impeccable all in itself. A V1 Assassin ST having one durability and the V9 having seven. Eh. 
That is quite funny indeed. So let's grab our good friend Google Translate and uh, attack these uh, these bonuses here, just to see what's going on. So the top one, as expected, is a 100% increase in booster recharge time. And I do believe this is the one ability that is shared with the BT variant. And I could tell you right away, from a Neo standard, that ability is extremely helpful. Having the 100% increase in booster recharge time means that your weapons will charge at double speed. And that makes this car a, an excellent a very, very good uh, Neo car, for sure. And the other bonus here, the 50% speed reduction on Crash. Which is better than Amon, for sure, and uh, will definitely help out with your racing. However, this car does not receive any kind of speed boost, meaning this car is slower uh, than the other two uh, racing cars that I have previously discussed. But, it is kind of interesting, though, that it does have the 100% increase in speed uh so, sorry, 100% increase in booster recharge time, and it does boast a much higher booster stat, being that it has you know, no durability at all, which may come at a disadvantage for racing, for sure. So, where is my final verdict on the Toyota FT1, aka the new Supra? I'm going to give this car a 8 out of 10. Not quite as good as Le Mans, but I'd say it's just as good in its own regards to... Hiking. And let's go over that right now. Uh, for the decals on this car, the decals on this car are kind of bad. Um, I would say they're not as bad as uh, the ones on uh, Prometheus, so to speak. I mean, Prometheus had some pretty bad decals. Um, but I, I guess they have them on their own. They might like them, they might not. That is true. Uh, the arrow kits, non existent. It does have those for the special wing. Uh, which I will kind of throw into some of the future ones as well. Um, there are no special wheels available for Assassin. And the racing performance for this car is actually very good. Um, I don't think it's as good as Le Mans. Uh, or as good. Or maybe it's comparable in racing performance to Hiken. In a way. It doesn't, it's definitely not as fast. But the 100% increase to booster recharge time can help for sure. When racing. And... Um, Definitely during Neo, which is actually surprising. I wouldn't expect this car to be very, very good at Neo with seven durability, but it is, in fact. And I'm not actually sure if ramming into a car in Neo actually is determined by durability at all. I don't think it is. I think you just take damage. And you just deal some amount of damage back to them. Whatever your weapon is, maybe. I don't know. I haven't played Neo in a little while. Maybe we should uh, make a video on that soon. But no, this car is a very, very good Neo car. It's but uh, not the normal variant. Uh, and you can actually just get away with the BT variant if you want a good Neo car. If you find a, if you get the BT version of this car, you're good to go. That 100% increase to boost of recharge time is all you need for Neo. That ability is very, very good. Do not undermine that ability. And um, as for hub and rush time, well, uh, don't don't drive this car. Uh, seven durability, ST, no. About 14 on the normal variant, if you were curious. Uh, 12 on the BT. <laughs> so if you want durability, uh, better get yourself an Arunia. Uh, so what did you guys think of my rating of 8 out of 10? Do you think this car deserves a higher rating? Do you think this car is better than Le Mans? Uh, I didn't think so. At least for racing. I know some people do race this car over, uh, Le Mans, though. And I'd like to really hear why. And if you thought this car was worse than the 8 out of 10, if you thought this car was much worse than Dominator, if you thought this car was worse than Prometheus, I, I think you gotta get your eyes checked, though. I'm sorry. Just by stats alone, I'm, not, I'm just gonna do it on that. Hey, once again, I'm sorry. You only play Hov. You don't know what racing is in this game. You didn't even think there were racing in this game. Good for you. Prometheus is the car for you. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big fat like. And subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. And until next time, this is Heen, signing out.